Hey moms and dads, this is Miss Melissa. I'm the children's pastor at the Springs and I'm so excited that you guys are doing Vacation Bible School with us this weekend. I would like to ask you guys to take pictures or videos of all of the fun activities you guys are doing at home. We would really love to be able to see it since we can't be in person and we're not going to get to be able to see your kiddos face to face and see all the fun that they're having at home. So if you could take videos and pictures and you can either email them to me at melissa at the springcc.org and we will put together a slideshow that we can share with the church on Sunday morning. Or you can also tag us on our Instagram at the Spring CC in your videos and photos. Or you can uh, tag us on Facebook on our Facebook page, the Springs Community Church. We really, really want to see all of the fun that you guys are having at home while you're learning about Jesus. Thanks so much. Hi boys and girls, I'm Misty and welcome to Anchored VBS. As you can see, we're under the sea here. And over here, if you see this big silver thing right here, that's called an anchor. An anchor is a big thing made out of stone or rock or metal and it's really heavy and it goes down to the bottom of the sea. It connects with a chain to a boat. That way the boat will stay in place no matter what. Even if there's crazy winds or crazy storms, it stays the same no matter, no matter what because it's anchored at the bottom of the sea and nice and heavy. Now, you can look at our cool, awesome ocean right here. These are some of the things that I would love to see under the sea. What about you? We've got jellyfish and we've got some seahorses, some colorful, beautiful fish all around us bright coral. What are some things that you would like to see if you took a trip under the ocean? Ooh, and dolphins. We can't forget about the dolphins, right? We want to see the dolphins. So during these next few days at VBS, we're all going to have an undersea adventure. Are you guys excited? You don't even have to get wet. Well, at least I, I think you won't get wet. I can't promise you anything. We'll start each day here at the Coral Reef and we're going to sing a little and talk a little and we'll start every day with a splash of smiles. And what we're really going to talk about this week is God's faithfulness. What do you guys think of when you hear the word faithful? Turn to your family members in your house and, and talk about that for a second. It's good to have faithful friends who never let go of us when life gets crazy or sad or scary or lonely. Right now, you have people in your life, your family and stuff, kind of like a giant school of fabulous spinny fish. Now turn to the people sitting nearby and give them each a high five and say, you're fantastic. Great job, guys. I told you that an anchor holds a ship in one place when you when the waves get wild, but it's like, I need your help. Here is our ship, and it's going to bob at the top of the waves. See how it's attached to a rock at the bottom? That is its anchor. So we're going to go, I'm going to let go, and there's our boat. It's staying afloat. Oh, oh, we got some wind. But let's see if it gets some crazy wind here in a storm. Everybody get out your blue streamers that are in your packets. Can you guys help me make a storm? Can you make the waves? Can you make the wind? Oh, it's getting bigger. It's getting crazier. Make that crazy balloon fly around that boat. Let's see if it still stays in one place. The storm is crazy. All right, the storm's stopping now. Slowing down. All right, the wind's going away. All right, let's see, is this ship still in the same place? It is because it's hold, held on by the anchor that's right on the ground. Now, God's faithful love for us, it surrounds us and supports us. It's something that we can hang on to, just like the anchor on this boat. God even sent his son Jesus to show us that deep, deep love that he has for us. All right, now I'm gonna bring up my friend Hannah and she's gonna help us out with some stuff. Hi, Hannah. Thanks for swimming in. Hi, Misty. Hi. All right, everything here at Acre VBS will help us discover that God is faithful. So when you hear those words, 
God is faithful, I want you to take your hands like you're pulling a rope and go, trust God. So anytime it, during VBS that you hear someone say, God is faithful, everyone says it the loudest, trust God. Awesome. And because we trust and hold tight to God's faithfulness like this, just like an anchor for us. Now, practice with me a few times. Let's do this again. God is faithful. Trust God. God is faithful. Trust God. Awesome job, Hannah. All right. Who, oh, we got a beach ball. Who, who are some faithful people in your life? Hannah, who are some faithful people in your life? My mom and dad are very faithful to all of us kids and each other and my best friends. Awesome. Yeah, we've also got teachers mm -hmm. and pastors and lots of people in our lives that are faithful. And remember, faithful means dependable or trustworthy. Someone that we can trust that they're going to be there when they say they're going to be there. They're going to do what they say. In 1 Chronicles 16.34, it says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Endures means that it lasts. God's faithful love lasts forever and ever and ever and ever. Wow, that is definitely something to be thankful for, right? Oh, yeah. Let's learn some, some actions that can help us remember those important words. All right. So <laughs> we're going to go like this. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Let's do it again. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Isn't that so awesome? Oh my goodness, that is definitely something to celebrate. All right, so I am so thankful that God loves us. He's on our side, even when things can seem like you're, they're against you or things are scary, God is always, always faithful. I just love the sea. I love everything about the sea. Um, it stays the place for me. I tell I you what. I can see that. Yep, I do. I love it. I love it. If you love the sea so much, why, why, why all the life-saving devices? Well, um, I, I want to tell you, they're so cute. I mean, they're a fashion statement in any country, in any era. Oh, so, so, you know, yes. so it got. So, uh, he's so cute. Sometimes it gets a little deflated. But he's so cute. And then all of these are just, they just make me feel good. Oh, well, I i don't think you really need them. But what, 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 what I do need them. Dave, are you really a diver? Oh, um, not really. I'm a phony baloney, I am. <laughs> all my friends love the ocean, and I want to love the ocean because I want to be accepted, but I'm not, and I'm just a phony, and besides that, the water gives me a rash. Oh, you don't have to worry about this. Remember, it's just for imagination and for fun. What? Yeah, but plus, if you did go near the water, you'd be fine. These are trustworthy. They'll hold you up. You mean oh, I could trust these things? Oh yeah, I think they're dependable, they're trustworthy. They're not just a fashion statement? No, they have a purpose. Oh. Yeah, but you know, if you're really nervous, there's other, another person that you can go to. A person? Yeah. He's a crikey. It's, well then, would you like to have some more courage? Oh, I would like some courage, I would. 
my faithful buddies here and I, we're learning all about our faithful friend in God. You've got buddies here? I do. They're Hi. right over there. Hi, buddies. Yeah. When, and we're learning that God, you can always trust him. So God is faithful. Trust God. Yeah. And even if you're sad or scared or lonely, no matter what, God is always there for you. And I don't have to go underwater to find him? No, silly scuba dude. God's everywhere. He'll come to you and he will be there for you. Ah, well, I want to learn some more about this. But first I got to go pump up my little deflated friend, all right? Okay. So I will swim away and hold my breath. <gasps> you don't have to hold your breath. You're going to be okay. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see you later, Diver Dave. Bye. All right, guys. Now we're going to go sing some songs of worship to Jesus. So go ahead and click on the next video and we'll see you later.